Hello beautiful people, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. You are welcome to Joy Uzo TV. If this is your first time of coming across my video, you are very welcome. In this video guys, I'm going to be showing you how I made this butterfly lock wig from start to finish, in fact from scratch. If it sounds like something you are interested in, then you definitely need to keep watching. Before we start guys, I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers and my followers on Facebook. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much guys. God bless you. So get, let's get into the video. So guys, I already started the ventilation. I did the outline of the front at the last time. I already started it and this is just the, the second one. I ventilate on one hole, skip one hole, then ventilate on the next hole. I ventilate on one line, skip one line, then ventilate on the next line. And in between the bosses, I left just one line. I am doing the vertical diagonal method as you can see. I like to use this for frontal, being a boss braid or a normal frontal or a full lace, okay? For the boss guys, the first two line, the first two line, I, I picked two strands while the, sec, I, the second uh, line, the remaining two lines in the middle, I picked three strands. I ventilated on four lines, front, back and uh, side to cover the, the middle, the middle hair. Then in the middle, I just ventilated randomly in the middle. Then I cover with the already the ones I already ventilated at the four corners, okay, to cover it. Only at the last part of the hair that I ventilated five instead of four to cover the bosses, I ventilated five only at the front to cover it well because I was picking just two strands all through at the front but at the back i did the same with the rest then just at the front i picked i ventilated on five straight uh, line at the front okay for outlining the frontal for outlining it you don't really have to even when you are making a closure you don't have to you can count how many in fact at the end of everything i did not even follow the lines because it was not going straight. So I counted how many I want to ventilate. After I was done with the first part, because I started from the middle to one side, then I started from the middle again to the other side. After I was done with the first side, I needed, I, need, I counted how, how many um, hair were, I mean, how many lines were in one boss, okay? Like, if you are ventilating everything, you don't want to do a boss and ventilate inside. You can just ventilate uh, on the... If you are skipping a hole and a line, okay? You can just ventilate on one... Um, like, ten. You can ventilate ten uh, on a, a straight line, vertical. Okay? Ten on a straight line. That 10 is going to also look like um, horizontal. It will still look like horizontal, giving you a boss. If you ventilate 10 line, it's going to give you a square shape. Like from the, okay, like this part now, let's say we are ventilating 10. If I ventilate 10 lines from uh, the back to the front, 10, I'm just doing it the same, 10, 10, 10, okay? Like, to the other side, it's going to give me a square shape. I don't need to draw a line on it. Okay, you can see the way I ventilated the, the side, the front. I did not just ventilate on a straight line. You know we are doing the uh, vertical diagonal. I just um, do up, down, up, down. The hair at the airline is not just on a straight line. I the, like one line the the first line will stop up then the next one down the next one up that's how I did it okay you can see the outline 
in fact i was finding it difficult to to remove this uh, brow pen so i don't know maybe because it stayed too long i don't know because the last one i did it was just the airline and the second one i did not mark it too much because i was doing a tutorial that was where i marked this one too much so i'm just going to put that air in hot water after i was done ventilating so i put conditioner in water i'm just going to put the air at first i was afraid to put the butterfly lock in hot water you can see the way it was looking after after i uh, wash it off some parts i still left some part there i was tired so i decided to do an experiment i used uh, foundation um eyebrow pencil and concealer you can see the date there it was december 25th so i washed it on january 4th to see if it will remove after 10 days okay but the i was finding it difficult to remove the concealer on so you can use anything but not shock because it's going to clean off and for a front i don't even see any need for drawing only a full lace wig that you cannot just start counting so for that one i think you can use the brow pencil but do not mark it too much okay you can see what i'm doing here i'm using a small flexi rod and the attachment color is color 30 i already cut it into three I feather out the ends now I am rolling it you can see how I'm rolling it I just twist and roll twist and roll and very close to each other because I'm going for it for a spring uh, coils okay so I can make the lock if you want to see how I sewed the the fronter and how I did the airline how I drew the airline. I'm going to leave the link in the description box in case you want to wash it. Always remember this guys, if you are putting your conditioner in hot water, always miss it very well because sometimes if you don't miss it well you will see that the conditioner will rest on the hair that you are going to put in the hot water it will just rest there on the hair just miss it well so that it can mix together with the water it will look like just normal water before putting the hair the highest bidder got juice got gas i'ma move fast new shoes new tracks like who's that i'm new come back better than last year it's a new me never gonna look back never gonna look back cause damn i was built to last you move slow when i move fast and that's facts only i can make a change slowly take a step today i will never be the same cause that's what it takes As you can see guys, I separated the hair but I did not separate everything at once. So we don't need it to tango or flying around in the house, okay? So I just did like two, two. So what I'm doing here, I've crocheted a, like you see it late, um, I crocheted uh, on the wig cap because the wig cap, the hole is very small. So in order not to tear it, I have to do it this way. You can see how I am doing it. But if you are using a cap with a big hole, then you can just crochet a big hair on it. Then before wrapping it, this one I crocheted small hair, then put a bigger hair, then tied it twice before wrapping. You, can see, you saw it, okay? In order to bring out the butterfly lock, I use my thumb to bring out the, uh, the some hair before wrapping going back then wrap okay if you want the lock to come out very well like you can just wrap the first one put the finger then this second one after wrapping the second one then you put it your thumb again to bring out another lock okay another uh, but, um, hair okay it depends on how you want it if you want the hair to the 
the butterfly lock to be uh, very mush on the hair you can just do it very quickly okay as you can see i ventilated from on the wig cap and on the lace just to cover that part and i'm going to vent uh, not ventilate crocheted it. i'm going to do it very close to each other so it can co cover that back very well okay we don't need too much hair at the back because of the front and i i need to put the hair very close to each other we don't need space there also i'm doing the same thing like i did for the back then at the lace i f i was finding it difficult to pass it through the lace because i don't want to tear the lace then i got a better idea So I'm going to crochet very little amount of hair. I don't want the lace to rip. I crocheted it twice on the lay on the from the wig cap to the lace to secure that part. I just did uh, small hair twice close to each other. Then I used the hair to tie the bigger one. Okay, just to avoid the lace tearing. I was using a curly hair guys as you can see before but it, at the front it was just remaining small coily hair so I have to put the straight one I added the straight one then added the coily one before wrapping it okay If you are making a normal braid, you are braiding the hair, you don't need to put your frontal or closure in hot water first, okay? Just that I was afraid of the lock. I thought the lock is going to it's going to do something to the lock. That was why I put it in hot water first. You see, I will still put it in hot water again because the hair did not relax the way I needed it to be. It did not just relax like that. So I had to put it in hot water again. Mm -hmm. I am going to sew down this adjustable elastic band on the wig cap. I like this. I like to use this for a front instead of the normal elastic band with that uh, the adjustable strap. Okay. So as you can see, I am going to put it on the lace and on the wig cap. I normally put everything put it on the wig cap before, but I decided to do it this way 
a little part on the lace and the rest on the wig cap side okay after i was done guys because the hair was still standing so i decided to put it in hot water at first i needed to test it with just one and it worked it was okay so i put everything in hot water as you can see then I'm going to add baby hair to the hairline or the edges. It's good if you uh, invest in human hair for the, your edges. You can use it for a lot. If you are selling it, you can use it for a lot of hair. Okay, a lot of wigs. Because human hair is easier to lay down. Unlike attachment. Okay, if you know what I mean. Never gonna look back. If I want to use it as a glueless wig, I'm just going to adjust the back now. You see how tight it is looking. Okay, yes, I've adjusted it. You can see how tight it's looking. I can use it as a glueless wig, or I can just uh glue down the side the ear side after you put your gel it's not going to be looking this way if you put your gel and your makeup it's not going to be looking this way if you are using it as a glueless wig okay guys you have different ways you can do the butterfly locks okay this is not just the only pattern you can use If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Like, share and comment. Also like and follow my Facebook page. If you are a returning subscriber or a returning viewers, you guys are always the boss. Thanks for always stopping by. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your support. God bless you. Feel free to check out my other videos and I will see you in my next video. Love you.